Okay, let's do this. This week I'm going to show you how to use cell switches. You will need to know how switches and page events works first in order to get a perfect understanding. So if you haven't seen my video covering this already, the link is inside the description below. Well, let's get started. Okay, so switches, event pages, everyone is clear on this. Now I want to explain to you what is a self switch and how it works differently from a reader switch. The self switch, unlike the reader switch, has two very big differences. First, unlike the reader one, it can store up to four data. So you can have the self switch value at A, B, C, or D. So rather than just on and off, you have A, B, C, D values. Now, that is for the first difference. The second difference is that the self switch is unique to the event. What I mean by that is that if inside this event I modify the self switch value, it will not affect the self switch value of a different event. It will only affect the, val the self switch values of this event over here, which is the witch. Okay, let me show you a concrete example now. So let's assume that I want the player to talk to the witch three times before it can enter the inn and turn on the switch. This is what I'm, I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy and paste this page three times. So on the third page, which is going to require the self switch to be of value B, this is when the character will be like, okay, so now you can go inside the inn. But it first has to go through the first page and the second page before going here. So what I'm going to do here is that going to modify the text so you talk to me once and from here we're going to modify this control self switch and we're going to turn a the value a at on which is by default at off normally so this the witch talk to her once turns on the self switch to a now inside the second page it's going to which only going to take effect once the self switch of this event is of value a gonna modify it once again you talk to me twice and then we're gonna turn the self switch at value B now it's gonna activate the third page which requires the self switch value B to be on now it says you talk to me you can now go inside the N and we're gonna turn on the switch that allows the player to go inside the hint but keep in mind that those self switches only affects this event and I'm gonna prove it to you now inside this event over here, I'm going to take the second page, I'm going to copy and paste it. It's not going to do anything. And I only want it to take into effect if the self switch value is B, which right now is never going to be because we never change the self switch value of this event to value B. Okay. So when we modified the which event, the self switch value to B, that is only for this event not the door here so this page it's never gonna take effect so it won't matter okay let's test this new game so i should talk to the witch first let's talk to the witch you talk to me once you talk to me twice and you talk to me you can now go inside the inn which now is the B, the second page activated. So if I just try to go in, there we go. And that's it for self switches. It's like the exact same thing as a reader switch, except that it only affects this particular event. So when you want to handle multiple dialogues with uh, NPCs, so some games do that. It allows you, like, if you read out to the different NPCs, gonna say different things as you just saw, then that's how. That's one way of handling things. You can do it with self switches rather than using switches uh, that are global and available from everywhere. The same thing goes for treasure chest as well. So once the chest is open, you can only turn the self switch on rather than using a global switch and so on and so on. Okay, that's it for this week's video, folks. So make sure to like, subscribe, leave some comments, whatever. Okay, bye.